What's up guys, Steve Chris here, and in today's video, I'm going to try to um, explain how to get uh, the not fast enough version of silverware onto your beta FPV light flight controllers or your B-Whoop uh, BO3 flight controllers. Now, I picked up a few of these myself, and it's a couple months back. I know silverware is not a new thing. But it's just it's just a trend that's going around that everyone's switching over from beta flight to silverware, at least those who can. And um, I had the worst time getting there. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to try to split these videos up into about, I don't know how many sections it's going to take, maybe three or four. There's going to be a troubleshooting video that I'm going to release on uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. And for those of you... Who know what you're doing and got stuck at a certain point you know that video is going to be for you because i got stuck at least an entire week of trying to figure out what i was doing wrong and you'll see um i hope i cover all the the the, the problems and mistakes that you could have made that just they, they just make you give up on trying to get silverware onto your flight controller now in today's video we're going to be talking about the components and like the setup that you will need for silverware to actually work or to get yourself ready to flash silverware to your beta FPV or your um, B flight controller. Now, why would you want silverware? It's a hassle. It's not plug and play like beta flight. We get that. But honestly speaking, I do have a lot of tiny whoops that run beta flight. And they have the Project Mockingbird uh, settings in them, and they fly great. But I, but when I finally got Silverware to work, it was on the Beewoo flight controller. And this thing was like an $8 flight controller. It, it's, it's from a toy, you know? It's from one of those... It's from the Beewoo, BO3 toy. And I was amazed at how great it flew. And then I did some more tweaking, and flew even better. So... I feel silverware right out the box is good for beginners, but for those of you who want to take it up a notch and really fly acro or even, I haven't tried out the, the race mode or whatever it's called they have, well, you're going to need the silverware um, firmware. And there's going to be links in the description to all the pages that I'm going to show you today, all the things that you'll need. I uninstall all the programs that you use, so I'm going to be doing this step by step. But today, I'm just going to show you everything you need, and in the second video, I'm going to actually plug the flight controller in and take you through those steps. So it's, I don't want this, these videos to be too long. There's also going to be a link in the description to the whole playlist. Alright, so you would come here and this basically has all the files you'll need you go to clone or download you'll hit download zip I already have it on my computer but that's fine it's gonna download now what I did was I created a silverware folder on my desktop and I just dropped it in here and you'll find the actual silverware firmware inside of the silverware folder now as you can see, you can't tell which one it is, but it's it's going to be this file right here. Now, this is already my edited version of Silverware. Um, I don't have this program installed anymore because I uninstalled it. So we're going to go ahead over to that one and get that program now. So, links in the description again. You come over here to Keel and um, you hit Download. Go to Product Downloads. You're going to download the MDK ARM file. Um, I already have this file right here. It's a pretty big file. It's about oh, close to a gigabyte, 912, 915. So this is the file right here. You're going to go ahead and double click on that bad boy. It's going to install. I'm just going to speed up this part. Okay, guys, it's finally done. I uh, had a sandwich, made some stuff, and... Uh, I'm kidding, but it, it takes a while. It's a it's a pretty big file. Uh, I guess this is my current settings before. 
Let's just uncheck all this stuff. Because I want to start fresh, you know. I want to see if I can actually get... Show you guys, like, the whole setup. Because there's not that many videos online that sh that does that goes through the entire setup. And there's a specific part where you need to get. So, in the second part, you'll see... Let me actually plug our flight controllers in. What this program needs, it's like an add-on in order to have your flight controller be read by this program. All right, so you hit finish. We got that. Uh, okay, of course it opens up. Um, just go ahead and hit OK. This is going to do its thing. It's just compiling a whole bunch of updates and whatnot. So forget about that. Just let that do its thing. Um, now, secondly, the other program you're going to need is this guy, the SD Link Utility. So you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's going to be this guy right here. You hit Get Software. You hit Accept. You're going to have to put your email address in here. They'll send you a link to your email. You'll click on that link. It will bring you back to this page, and then the download will automatically start. And you'll have the program. I've already done this. I don't feel like doing it again. I lost the program. Where is it? Uh, oh, here it is, right here. So it'll come as a zip file. I'm pretty sure you'll extract it. Go inside here, hit install. And this this one doesn't take that long. It's pretty fast. Boom. So we got our two programs. We got. Oh gosh, what what is this now? All right finish it's just a driver wizard installing a couple drivers all right so we got the two main pro uh, finish two main programs that you'll need the utility and keel so now what do you actually need to read your um, the, the files or to actually upload arrays and modify the firmware on your flight controller boom this guy the SD link v2 programmer now i had one of these sitting in a box from forever it was actually still connected to like a really old flight controller um but on this guy don't don't get scared when you see this the only things that you're going to be using is swdio ground um swclk and if you do not have an uh external battery one is battery plugged into your flight controller you can use the 3v3 power from this little guy right here and you'll be fine but what i did was um on one of my on one of my b whoops let me just pull that up real quick here see if i can get it in there flight control here it is so on the b-whoop it has this little connector right here and i created a harness that plugs right in so i have these three main things now voltage for some reason they didn't include i don't know why but what i did was i first time i did it i just soldered up a regular um regular one of those plugs i'll shoot a picture up on the screen right now and you know i plugged it straight in but with my finished build you know i can still access this right under the flight controller right under my tiny loop and you know you'll have your battery so that'll be your power and you'll still have your little harness so you don't have to worry about the voltage and, you know it works out really good for if i want to just change something on the, on the fly i don't have to solder up a wire for voltage i can just use my battery voltage and it works fine. Don't use 3v3 and your battery voltage. Who knows what can happen? I haven't tried it. I don't. I won't try it. Just don't do it. Okay. So now that we've gotten that, there's going to be a link in the description of this product. Also, this is pretty much yeah, same one I have. Um. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's it, guys. This is this is just like the introduction. You know, the stuff you'll need, the programs. Um, in the next video, I'm actually going to be showing you, I'm actually going to be plugging in the flight controller and showing you how everything works. Now, um, let's see, key over here. All right, that's done. You know, you can just exit out that window. Um, 
the SD link utility just a basic basic program really you can actually use this to flash the stock firmware back onto your flight controller if for some reason you don't like the not fast enough silverware version and um, kill this right here just open these up show you guys real quick I'm pretty sure I can even load my um uh, we won't we'll save that for another video but that's it for that's it for now guys um like subscribe and the next video should be on the playlist and it will be coming up right now happy flying guys